Hey kids, so I'm coming to you from my office this morning so that you can see kind of what's been going on in the background. In a little bit, I'm going to show a little video clip that I made using Animaker. It's this animation thing that you can do things on online for fun. I just thought it would be a little bit fun to have a little animated clip for you this morning. But we're doing a lot of that kind of stuff here on computers like this. And it's it's fun to learn how to edit and make videos and do different kinds of things. So I hope you enjoy this little video clip and that it's a blessing to you as we think about what it means to be a treasure of God's. Enjoy. These are some peculiar treasures of the New Testament. Saul or Paul and Ananias. Now Saul hates Christians, and Ananias is a Christian. And so since Paul is hurting Christians in Jerusalem, Ananias decides to leave, and he goes to Damascus. Paul is left in Jerusalem, and he wants to chase him down. And so he goes. But on the road to Damascus, a bright light interrupts him, and Jesus tells him to stop persecuting the Christians, and Paul is left blind. He's led by friends into Damascus, where he mourns for three days. Ananias is sent by God, who then touches Paul, and God heals him. Ananias says that this was Jesus who sent him. And so Paul immediately goes into Damascus telling people about the good news of who Jesus is. Now imagine if you were Paul or Ananias. Imagine being nice to someone who has hurt you. It's hard to be nice to someone who has been mean to us or our friends, but that's what God asks us to do. Sometimes we don't know what God is going to do in their lives, and so we're still kind. 